All right, I see the tools come through. Perfect, perfect. So I know you guys got your notebook and pen because it's, it's important that you guys take notes, right? You guys probably heard me say this before. We only really retain about 5% of the information that we hear for the first time. And if you're not hearing this marketing, actually you are, because this is a brand new marketing uh, uh, training that I have here. It took a few hours to create this PowerPoint. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, so it, you definitely only retain about 5% of the information that you hear for the first time. And if you did not hear this information for the first time, which I'm sure you did, right? I'm sure you heard it for the first time, but you're gonna need to hear it uh, a few more times before it actually sticks. That's why we always preach, you know, get on the trainings, get on the trainings. Even if you, you know, if you heard the information before, if you feel like, like it's being repetitive, you don't remember everything, right? You don't remember everything. And not many people utilize your recordings when we put them in the chat. So definitely take notes when you're on every single call. I make sure you plug in to every single call because it's going to be important. It's going to help you to get to bring money to your uh, to your accounts, right? Not just your trading account, but to your bike account, right? The, the furniture market puts money in your MT4. Marketing puts money in your PAQ. Who wants it? Who wants to be getting PAQ every Friday? Type PAQ in the chat. I need to see the chat flooded with PAQ. Who wants PAQ every Friday? I need to see it. I need to see it. Listen, I love it here. You get to make money every single day from trading. And because we share exactly what it is that we do with others, we get paid every single Friday from the company. I mean, two bags in one opportunity? Why not? Right? Why not? And like I was saying, it's, it's, it's very important. Why I ask you guys who caught FIPS today on a marketing training is because I want you guys to get results. <laughs> I want you guys to have results first so that you can show your prospects, show the individual, your family, family members, your friends, co-workers, a total stranger on social media, how you are making money. Because what's the first, what's usually the first question somebody asks uh, when you tell them about this business? Anybody can tell me in the chat. What's usually the first question? Are you making money? Khadija got it. Are you making money? Right? Even though we have, even though this is a, is a, is a, uh, a skill set we're learning, it's an educational platform. People ask us, are we making money? Right? If somebody's telling you, you know, if somebody said, well, listen, girl, I'm going to university. I think you should come UB as well, you know, get your degree. You, you're not going to ask them, are you making money? We don't ask people if they're making money if they tell, if they tell us that to come up, to come out of school, right? They're going to school to learn, and then they're going to go and make money, right? But with ours, with our educational platform, they ask us if we're making money. So let's make that money first, right? Let's make that money first, and we make it super simple to make money, right? Because we have a copy and paste system. We share the ideas. Shout out to the trade ideas, right? We send out trades every single day, at least four trades a day. Early on mornings, um, and like London, New York session, and then sometimes you get a trip around this time, right? So you can you can get you can make money easily, right? Come into this, learn how to copy and paste and make money so that when you go there, you tell individuals about your business and they ask you that number one question. Have you made money yet? You can be like, girl, boy, let me show you, right? With confidence. And I want you guys to write that down at the top of your paper. You have to have confidence. If you don't have confidence sharing this information, people are going to look at you like, you sure you bought this? Like, you sure you bought this for this thing that you're telling me about? Because if somebody come up to me like, tell me, like, I, I start doing this for this thing, and, you know, I, I would like to share it with you. I can be like, you sure you want to share it with me? Or... I don't know, like, you be like, listen, girl, like, I just started learning to trade in the foreign exchange market, like, I already making money, it's crazy, I ain't even sure what you're doing yet, right, but I already making money, I want to show you, like, you got to have that excitement, you have to have confidence when you're talking to individuals, and so they would be like, enticed to come and see the information, to like, get on a webinar to, for you to share a minute video with them, right, so the rule number one is to make some money, if you make that super simple, nobody should not be making any money, and if you're not, we need to be, you need to get on a profit maximization goal. All right. So let me share my screen here really quickly so you guys could see what is this that I'm portion of my screen. All right. Back. Cool, cool, cool. So let me know if you guys are seeing my screen. Let me know if you guys are seeing my screen. Good, good. I want to make this. Wait, let me bring up the chat. 
Yes, all right, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So let's get right into it, yeah? So we market it, we doing digital marketing, everything online. Listen, if you do not know by now, everything is online, <laughs> right? Uh, COVID says, especially during, especially since COVID-19, so many things are going digital. Uh, we are able, if you're in Barbados, I don't know if you've heard, but we can renew our driver's license online. I'm gonna just be honest with you guys. I did not renew my driver's license for a year simply because I know how long those lines are <laughs> up license authority and your girl was not about to go out there and stand in that line for a sense of the time. So I didn't do it, right? <laughs> didn't do it. But when I saw that we can renew our license online, I was over the moon. I was like, mm, I can't wait. As soon as it, as soon as it went live, I went online, I paid for my license on Monday, I think it did. Monday, yeah. I paid for my license on Monday and Tuesday I had it. So they put it online and the delivery service is fast. That's my that got my name written all over it, right? So everything is digital. And so our business, we are in the right business because we we're marketing a digital product, right? We don't have any, we don't have any headphones selling. We don't have any cream selling. We don't got any spray selling. We got a digital product. We don't have to go by door by door knocking and say, hey, like, would you like a sample of my no? Everything is online. We don't have to wait till anything ship in to clear at the port. We don't have to worry about that, right? Our product is digital, and so our business is all digital as well. So you guys need to be online, right? Of course, if you're in person. Let me just cue it up. Of course, if you are out and about, you can you know do the regular in person marketing. But majority of your marketing will be online. If you guys are with me so far, type a one in the chat. If you're with me so far, type a one in the chat. Perfect, perfect. So I know, you know, individuals may not be even a platinum 150 yet, or a platinum 600, 1000, whatever the case may be. I want you guys to get in your frame of mind six figures with this comp compensation plan. Like at this point, the company's goal is to create 1,000 chairmans and above, like chairman 10 and above. But the minimum is chairman 10. The goal is to create 1,000 of these individuals by the end of this year. And it's already done. It is already done. The question is, are you going to be in one of these 1,000? If you believe that, type a two in the chat. If you believe that you are going to be one of the 1,000 by December 31st, I'm, I'm going to type my two. I'm going to tell you a whole bunch of twos right if you believe that you are going to be one of the 1000 by december 31st 2020 it is already done i don't want you guys to just type in the chat because it's hype right now i want you guys to actually take the information that i'm about to share with you and run with it just run until 100k is done guys that is our slogan here at the takeover just run until 100k is done and if you didn't know 100k is six figures all right, so the digital marketing uh, training that I'm about to give you guys is a six is a six figure formula, right? I didn't make it up myself. I got it from a six figure earner, right? You guys are probably heard it before, but we are professional copycats. We we don't only copy traders, we copy the marketers as well. I know in school they 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 definitely did not put more copying, but in this business, copying gives you six figures. So I'm a, I'm about to copy my way all the way, not just to six figures, but to seven figures. All right, so guys, take this information and run with it. We have to give you it tonight. All right, so digital marketing minimum six figures. Let's go. All right, so good goals and objectives. So of course you want to know your target audience. You guys see my? I don't think you guys can see this whole thing. All right, I did. I, I spent some time creating this. <laughs> you guys created this. Um, PDF, I'm gonna need to see all these details, <laughs> right? So good, one is target audience. One is target audience, we're gonna go through that, we're gonna go through social media platforms, purpose of your profile, insights, power of your highlights, income claims, attracting your audience, power of direct messages. All right, you guys, so that's our, that's where we're gonna, that's the topics we're gonna hit this evening. So if you want, you could like take a screenshot of this and jot this down, or you could just take notes as we go through them. All right. So I'm gonna change this in two, four, six, 
8, 10. Let's go. Perfect. So, target audience. Target audience. So, we already know Instagram. Instagram is mainly my uh, social media platform that I utilize. I do have Twitter and Facebook. Uh, I definitely do not use Twitter. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Uh, Facebook, I, huh, I'm seldom on there, right? But mostly Instagram. So, I got some some figures for you guys. 75% of the individuals who are 18 to 24 years old are Instagram. 57% uh, are 25 to 30. 47% are 30 to 49 years old, 23% of uh, 50 to 64 years old, and 8% of 65 plus. So we already know where all the millennials are, where the mostly people are on Instagram this day. Twitter, we got some Twitter percentages here, 44%, 18 to 24, 31%, 25 to 30, 26%, 30 to 49, 17%, 50 to 64, 7%, 65 plus. Right at Facebook, this is the this is for the older folks in my opinion. Right, eighty eight percent is are eighteen to twenty nine years old. Eighty four percent are thirty to forty nine years old. Seventy two percent are fifty to sixty four. And the online seniors are sixty two percent. These are sixty two percent individuals. Sixty five plus, like a whole bunch of older people are on Facebook. If you agree with me, type a granny chat. Right, a whole bunch of older people are on Facebook. <laughs> Perfect, perfect. So let's break down, let's break down uh, these social media platforms, right? Perfect, any trees, you guys agree. <laughs> also, so Instagram. So Instagram is a photo and video sharing um, platform uh, amongst 18 to 24 year olds, like we just said. Uh, it allows users to express themselves with real ex experiences and create genuine interactions without distractions and keeping users focused on content. Right, uh, every single day you, you will see a whole bunch of pictures, videos, and a whole bunch of ads ran, being ran on, on, on IG story. So, this is the, the, the platform for that. On Twitter, on Twitter, you get to share ideas in real, real time information and training news, right? Conversations, facts, concise, and controlled posts. Advertising tools create an urgency for your brand, taking advantage of unique and creative ways to reach a target audience. So, so this is Twitter. Twitter is literally just a lot of typing. I mean, you can post pictures on Twitter as well, but usually people um, type a lot. A lot of typing happening there. People wanna. People got like thousands and thousands of tweets, right? I remember I was into Twitter like when I was a teenager. <laughs> I don't do Twitter anymore, right? And Facebook purpose is to connect with people connect people with their friends and family, you need to target Facebook groups, right? You could target Facebook groups. Um, there are Facebook groups that sell stuff. Um, <laughs> quit story. Today, I was, I was on Facebook today um, because I had a whole bunch of Facebook um, people telling me happy birthday. So I was just going on there and responding. And you know how they have ads. So I saw an ad and I saw some ring lights right somebody was selling ring lights and i know some of i have a few ring lights right i have a couple of ring lights but some of the other leaders they needed ring lights so i put it in the chat and i, I asked who want ring lights so everybody's saying they want a ring light they want a ring light and i i, I went from maybe like eight ring lights order to now we're at like 13 <laughs> right so like literally these 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 uh groups of individuals selling and buying stuff that like you can find a lot of people out there like I, I wasn't even intentionally on there I was just scrolling I saw it so if that was me imagine how many individuals are on there intentionally or unintentionally looking for something I wasn't even looking but I just saw it right so imagine how many people are on there doing the exact same thing if you target these these groups you are you are gonna be able to attract and contact a lot of individuals that are on these Facebook groups, right? Facebook, you share photos, videos, and general updates. People, people just share photos and, and videos on their general uh, and general updates in their lives, right? So, like I said, the older folks, they they post like anything is happening. Usually, it's usually friends and family that that is on your Facebook, and so when you post something on there, they're gonna see it, right? So you, you update that on there, and what is so what Facebook is? It's match your past, so. I remember having a Facebook page from the time I was maybe like 13 or 14. Between 13 and 16, I remember creating my first Facebook page, right? So you might, let me know in the chat how old you created a Facebook. Let me know in the chat. Let me know in the chat how old you created a Facebook, if you can remember. 
<laughs> Could you just say child boy? <laughs> 19, okay. Can I remember? Okay, it was that long ago. 16, 14, she, 12. Sheesh, no, nine, Maya. Gosh, are you still young? Shoot. <laughs> All right, well, exactly my point for this, right? Exactly my point. It was a very long time. I think I was about 13, between 13 and 16, I think I, I created my Facebook. My, just a little joke. My first email address was Tammy underscore babyface 13. Ah, I had it at 13 because I was the age of 13. <laughs> I was the age 13, so I said Tammy underscore babyface 13 at hotmail.com. <laughs> That's so funny. Right, so I was 13 when I created my first Facebook page, right? That Facebook is not hot, <laughs> right? But uh, <laughs> that is how you're that. Yours was ratchet. <laughs> Mine was Tammy Unscroll, baby face. Anywho, so you guys can imagine me having a Facebook from the age of 13 years old if it didn't get hot, right? The last thing here says, match your past history. Introduce them to the new you. We can imagine me having a, a Facebook page from the age of 13, me now at 27. Of course, it's a new me. <laughs> I'm not the same. I'm not the same baby face Tammy anymore. I'm a grown woman at this point with a whole business traveling the whole nine, right? Not the whole nine. Like I got the family and all that stuff. So maybe the whole five, <laughs> right? The whole five. But it's it's definitely a new me over the past uh 13, seven, oh my goodness, 14 years, right? 14 years. It's definitely a new me. So you want to use your Instagram if you still have access to that first. I keep saying Instagram. If you have access to your first Facebook page, you have to utilize that to introduce them to the new you, right? You are not that nine-year-old anymore. You, Dara, you are definitely not that 11-year-old, right? Tamisha, you are definitely not that 15-year-old. Who else? Seth, you're not 14 anymore. Shanice, you're not 15 anymore. Kelia, you're not 14. Um, the sh I don't want I don't want what your name, but you're not 12 anymore. Tamara. Uh, Kristen, you guys are not these ages anymore. So if you utilize your Instagram, your Facebook, keep saying Instagram. If you utilize your Facebook and introduce them to the new you, tell a story and we can get into that some more. But use your Facebook to introduce, introduce them to the new you. Show who you are and attract these people that you have on your, on your, on your Facebook to you. Right? These three social media sites offer considerable opportunities to connect engage and engage with a network increase brand awareness and drive traffic to your site but they are incredibly different in terms of purpose right so that's the reason why i have these three different definitions for these three different platforms so i hope you guys were taking notes and are screenshotting this all right so perfect purpose of your profile right appearance speaks volumes you guys you're if you are using any of these platforms instagram twitter Facebook, these are your virtual business cards. I want you guys to type that in the chat. Social media is my virtual business card. I want you guys to put that in the chat, all right? Because if I, if I had, let me show you guys one of my business cards. Where is it? Let me show you guys one really quick. Perfect. You guys, I see you guys dropping in the chat. You guys, this is my this is my business card, All right? So anybody can see. You guys can see this. What does this look like? What does this look like? You guys seeing this? What does this look like? Money, right? It it does, and actually it is because your business card should your business attracts money. So my card says that. But this is my business card. You guys can see that. You guys can see that? This is my business card. But when I, so you guys, and again, this is why social media is so important. Now this is called a drop card. So when I drop this card somewhere on the street, it's going to look like a hundred US dollars, right? It's going to look like a hundred US dollars. When someone picks it up and they see it's really not money, but I'm telling them, hey, if your smartphone doesn't make you any money, it's a dumb phone. You should contact me, right? I have that inside of there. But guess what? I haven't been outside for three months thanks to COVID-19, right? So let me show you guys how much I have. I ordered, I think I ordered 
thousand of these. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I have, I probably have over 500 of these cards still. I was outside. I, like Kyla said, I was, I was dropping these all over London. But when I came back, boom, COVID-19 hit. This investment I made, can't drop them away. <laughs> I can't drop these anywhere, a whole bunch. Look, still here. You know what my mother does now? She takes them to work. And when she, when she, when when a customer wants her card, she gives them money, she puts her number on it. Boom, to kill two birds at one store. You're going to learn about forex today, and you're going to buy some fish. <laughs> right? But I couldn't, I couldn't drop my cards anywhere because at COVID-19, right? So I invested in this legit, like, uh, I think a month before I went to London, and I, I, I took a whole bunch to London, dropped them on the train, dropped them in the station, dropped them on, on Oxford Street. I was just doing the most, right? Actually, everybody was doing the most, right? Yeah, I could, I could drop them whenever I go outside, but I was at home because of COVID-19. So this wasn't even, this wasn't making any sense at the time. So now I have a physical business card, that I couldn't use because I, I wasn't seeing anybody. I couldn't go anywhere to drop it. But I have Instagram. I have Facebook. I have Twitter, right? So these platforms are now my business card. So how, how is your business card looking? How is your profile looking? You have to have, you have of course, you're going to have a profile picture on, on, on at your display. Who doesn't have a profile picture on their social media? Type a two in the chat and be honest. If your profile picture looks like, like how this looks here, this, 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 like a, like a man or, or look like a woman, like a nomad, right? Like John Doe or Jane Doe. If that's you, type a two in the chat. Because you should have a profile picture. You are a person. You are a fake profile uh, out here DMing people doing the most, right? You are a real person. So you should have your photo. If you, if you, type in the chat if your, if your profile is private. Type a two in the chat if your profile is private. And be honest. Be honest. Type a two in the chat if your profile is private. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. You guys, you guys really want to be, you guys really want to, is, are these individuals, the same people that said they wanted to be one of the 1,000 chairmans by December 31st, 2020? Let me scroll up real fast. Who says Ingrid? I swear, just see Ingrid. Ingrid, you want to be a chairman by December 31st, 2020, and your profile is locked? You can just, you, just take back that two. Mm -hmm. Take back the two that you put when you said you wanted to be a chairman by the end of this year because you lying to, not me, you lying to yourself. You lying to yourself. Why do we have a private profile on social media? It's called <laughs> guys make sure you mute your mics. It's called social media. Social <laughs> media. Why do we have a private media? Help me out. Help me understand. Somebody help me. Help me. <laughs> How do we have a private profile on social media, especially individuals that want to go to chairman? All right. All right. But I'm saying, right? I'm saying, whatever, if you are having a private life, whatever your life is and you don't want the people them to know, don't post it. <laughs> don't post it. If it is private, just don't post it. Guys, like if I have an argument with my boyfriend, I'm not gonna get on Instagram like this nigga. Like, mm, mm. I ain't going. All oh, that is private. My Instagram is for business. I'm gonna. I'm. Oh, we 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 arguing today, but last night he took me to dinner. He paid for 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 my for my food at Nishi restaurant. Bill was five hundred dollars on him. That's big. Uh, like, because mm -mm -mm, I am a marketer. I, I'm a business person. I'm not going to put what I do or want on there. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to put on there what I do or want. I'm, I'm in control. 
I am in control of what I put on social media. If I don't want it there, I'm not going to post it. So there's no reason for us to have a private profile, especially if you're trying to go to your month. Especially if you're trying to go to your month. All right? So let's just change that. Let's start there. We can't have a private profile, right? Of course, you're, you're, you should have some professional photos, right? If you are here in Barbados, there's a, 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 a studio up Sheraton. Uh, you could get four photos for $65. You don't have to dress up and, 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 and spend a whole bunch of money. You could just get a nice top, ladies, a nice top and, and a, a dress pants or a skirt and just go and, you know, do a couple poses, steal a couple poses, have the phone in the hand, like, uh, chart, like, you know, go, for, go on some of our purpose, nine, Danis, Akeem, Clay for the Gentlemen, Chad, David, and Manitia, Bryce. You can, you can go and steal some poses, $65 for professional photos. You guys can imagine you go up and taking pictures with your iPhone or your, what's the name of the studio? Uh, Danis, you can put the name of the studio in the chat if you have it, right? You can go up and take pictures with your, uh, if your regular iPhone or your uh, Android, right? Looking a little pixelated there. So now, boom, professional, clean, white background. All of a sudden, your face is on your face is on an, is on a flyer, right? Your face is on a flyer. You looking, you looking good. You looking like a boss babe. You looking like a boss man, a businessman. Listen, you are in business, man, right? You you are not just a businessman. You are in business. You actually business should be in you, right? So you want to have professional photos it's important if you want flyers being me and you guys you can't be sending a picture to the artist the graphic artist artist with a whole bunch of shrub in the background a car a building uh somebody acting next like no how are you supposed to how, how do you want that you, you're giving the artist too much work <laughs> like we, i'm gonna let i'm gonna need you guys to give the graphic artist a little a lot less work i have a nice white background a nice white background. So like I said, if you're in Barbados, it's $65 up Sheraton. That needs for the name of the of the um, studio in the chat, right? Go up there and get some pictures taken, please. For, for, for you. This is for you, right? I have a whole bunch, right? All the leaders that you see, we have professional photos, right? And you want to do as we do. We're not going to tell you to do something that we are not doing, right? Good. <laughs> like, you guys see her. Like, that no poker on the background there. Like, free, please bring the white backgrounds. <laughs> Thanks. Full stop. Right? Please, please do Kurt that favor. Right? If you're not in Barbados, you know, connect with one of the leaders that, that, that is in your country and let them point you to where you can get some professional photos taken. All right? So let's get everybody, if you're going to get a professional photo shoot done uh, within the next 30 days, type a three in the chat. I'm, I want to see it. We're going to, Leaders, who you know in this chat, we're holding them accountable. If, you're, if you know you're going to get a professional photo shoot done within the next 30 days, type of training chat. I'm holding you guys accountable. Danny's look for the believers. I see Lana. I see Tori. I see Dara. Dara, you been was supposed to get a professional photo done. All right. But I know how COVID is in, in New York. All right. Ishmael, let's go. Keep you leaders. Hold your, hold your leaders accountable, right? Hold your leaders accountable. Let's get these professional photos done. With zero, I'm, I'm holding you accountable, all right? I, these trees coming through mad slow, but that's fine, right? This is your business, and you guys did say you want to go chairman, and chairmen have professional photos done before they go chairman. They don't wait until they go chairman to look professional. They look professional, no, all right? Let's just, let's just, Hold that in our mind. You don't have to wait till you go a chairman to consider yourself a chairman. You guys say you want to be a chairman. No, it's already done. You got to start acting like one. And chairmen have professional photos. All right? Yeah, the, 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 two, the trees come with two mass low. But we want you, whoever sent a tree, you're the serious individuals that want to get to the six figures. All right? So let's get it. Right? Yeah, exactly. Dress for the job you want, not the job you got. Let's go. I love that, Lana. I love it. Right? So good. It says here, professional pictures look like look like you in real life. It looks like you in real. Don't go taking these pictures looking like somebody else. And when you go on the street and these individuals that see your see see you on Instagram, see you in person, and then like, is that the same person <laughs> that I see on social media? Right. Make sure you look like you. Right. Make sure you look like you. 
look good, right? Dress how you want to be addressed. Dress how you want to be addressed, right? Genuinely, it reflects on who you are, right? It reflects on who you are. So make sure you reflect that in every single thing that you do in your post, how you dress, how you speak to people, the whole night, right? Your bios, your bio is important. Your bio literally says who you are. When somebody comes to your, your Instagram, they should be able to see who you are, what you have to offer, even before they go and look at your photo. Right? Even before they go and look at your photos, they should be able to say, Am I attracted to this person or not? Like my, my your bio is supposed to keep that person there because that's the first thing they see. Right? That's the first thing they see. Right? So just an example here, but you, you can do a put forex trader. You can put forex investor, or you can just put forex, right? Or just forex, just investor, whatever the case may be. You can put takeover in your bio. Um, well, takeover is our investment group, so you can just this be our an investment group, so you can just put the takeover there, right? And whatever else other businesses you have, so like for example, Danny's. Danny says a natural hair stylist. She she's a philanthropist, right? So she has all of that in her bio. So when somebody goes there, when somebody goes to Danny's Instagram. They're gonna see um, investor, philanthropist, natural hair stylist. Like this girl does do a lot, right? She does do a lot. Let me scroll down and see some more, right? That in itself, your bio in itself is gonna attract, gonna entice a person, is gonna pique their interest and help and, and cause them to stay on your profile. And so you want to have a bio that's gonna speak volumes. Don't I know some people may be thinking, well. I don't know, like, what it, what, it, what you do right now, Tammy. That's, if you're a mother, put mom and, like, put mom, mom to a king, mom to, to a queen, right? Let me, let, let me give you guys some examples for, for bios. Like, for example, Sheila, right? Sheila, Sheila had nothing in her bio. It was like, sweetie, you got to put something in there, right? So Sheila bio now says mom because she's a mother first, right? She's a mother first before anything else. She's a beautician. And she has her business Instagram tag. She's an investor with the with the chart emoji, right? Get creative, right? My girl has fired my boss and hired my phone. Boom. That's a that's an immediate interest peak right there. If you agree with me, type agree. If you agree with me, type agree. Somebody come on my profile and I see mother, beautician, investor, fired my boss and hired my phone. Like, where did they do that at? Where did they do that? <laughs> right? Um, immediately, my interest is speaking. Like, how can I fire my boss and hire my phone? I am very interested, right? She said she also has enrolled in the Forest Academy and become an investor at the ME the Money Bag. And she has her link in the bio, right? So you you can get creative, go around certain profiles, some leaders in the in the organization, uh bigger chamber. Like, I change my bio a lot. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I change my bio a lot. Right now, my bio says I'm, a, I'm moving in purpose. I'm an entrepreneur, investor, educator. The goal is to win and help others and have my website link on there. All right? Interest peak. Like, I am an educator and the goal is to win and help others. Like, she, she wants to win. She's helping people win as well. Like, I want to win. Would you agree that people want to win? Right? So, people are, somebody's going to come on here and they're going to see, well, She's helping people when it was this. Go on her web, website. Boom, interest peak. I have information about my business on there. I have somebody, I have somebody in the pipeline, right? So you want to have your bio speaking volumes about you. Who are you? When somebody comes to your page, who are they seeing? And are they gonna stay there and contact you after they see uh, what you have to offer? Right? So if you are still with me, you're taking a whole bunch of notes type of four in the chat. Like before in the chat, you're still with me. Perfect, perfect. Awesome, awesome. Good. Let's go, right? So insights, right? Insights, you get to keep track of your business. I hope you guys, I don't know if this is a little blurry, but you can like zoom in if you can, right? But these are the parts of, of a business, business PhD insights. You can get to see how many individuals are, are sharing your posts, uh, how many comments you have, who saved it, the likes, right? If your business, if your page is not a business profile, you definitely need to change that because you won't be able to see the insights until you are a business profile. All right. So you can go to your go to your Instagram, right? 
what's your Instagram? And it, it, it sets up different from um, of Android or iPhone, so I don't want to give uh, neither of the examples, but go to your profile and play around with it until you can see switch to a business profile, then you will see uh, the insights option. So the so performance on Instagram over the last week changed in followers, numbers of posts, impression reach, impressions reach, profile views, website clicks, and email clicks, detailed demographics of your followers, their genders, age, locations, by cities and, and countries, and when they are most active, gives you detailed demographics of your followers. User generated content gets the most likes and comments. So you make sure to produce and share more of this type of content. So if you look at a if you, if you make a post on social media and you check your insights and you see, well, this did really good. This type of this type of content did really good. Like the insights are on uh, uh, this is busing, right? You, you're gonna try to recreate something, not not necessarily exactly the same, but along that line, because that was what most individuals were attracted to. That you got a lot of interaction from that post. And so you're gonna try to keep your their content creation along that same line, right? So this gives you a legit is insight. It gives you insight on what your audience like to see, so that you can continue to give that to them. All of this information, you guys, it is going to be conducive to to attracting people to you. At this point, this is attracting marketing. You want you want to you want to you want to you're going to start hunting first, right? You're going to be a hunter first. You're going to be getting out there, you know, talking to people, DMing people, you know, trying to share this with your friends, your family, anybody you can share it with. You're going to, that's how you're going to start off. But as you grow more in this business, you're going to be, you're going to start to be the hunted. Like people are going to be coming to you. Like people are going to be DMing you like, hey, Tommy, I'm interested in like, like learning to trail for us. Like, I, I, like you guys, I, I do attractive marketing. People come to me about this business. You got to ask yourself, if somebody's interested in learning this skill set, who are they thinking about? I remember hearing, I think it was, it was either Aki or Kai that asked that question. If somebody's thinking about, about this business and learning to trade for us, who are they thinking about? Are they thinking about you? Are they thinking about Kelia, Maya, Ishmael, Shania, Shanice, Wazero? Who, are they thinking about your name? If they're not, then you're not putting yourself out there enough. So when I, when I heard Aki Markai said that, I said, well, listen, I'm going to need people to think about Tammy when they think about trading for us. And so I, I was intentional about putting my face out there as much as possible, running as posting 10 plus times a day so that I could be in their face. And if, if they're sick of it, they're going to unfollow me. Just to get somebody pick up my physical business card and they don't like it, they're going to drop it back. Guess what? It's a drop card. So if you pick it up, you don't like it, you drop it again, somebody else is going to pick it up, right? So if they don't like you posting all the time, they're going to just unfollow you if they don't like it. Make space for somebody else, right? Make space. Exactly. You guys see what? Both Zara, Zara and Rosero, they were attracted to me, right? She came to me. Zara emailed me, right? That, that's what you guys have to do. You have to put yourself out there. You have to show that you are valuable to the individual so that they come to you. So you definitely got to pay attention to your insights. Make sure you turn your page to a business page and pay attention to your post, the type of content that you're putting out there so that you can see which one is doing um, better than the other so you can make more content like that. So we have highlights. The power in your highlights, right? You were always in my face. Exactly. Right, always in Tamisha's face, always in her face. Right, so when she was ready to get started, she contacted. That's exactly what you have to do. Right, so there's power in your highlights. So if you don't know what highlights are, when you go to a profile under somebody's bio, that's uh, you will see highlights. I don't know if you guys can see mine right here, but you get you can get creative with it. Right, I actually I actually created mine on my own, but I think there's there's a there's an app called Highlight Maker right there at the bottom it looks like it has an airplane if you guys can see that right there's an app called highlight highlight maker you can go on there and you can get creative with your highlight um cover it's like a cover photo and should you add your number to your page i have my number to my page i have my number to my page so you can if you don't mind right i have my number to my page because i like i run in a business if i'm trying to talk i'm gonna ignore the call <laughs> right so uh, you can you can add your number to your page i have mine but i never had anybody like calling me directly do i have mine actually no i don't have mine i have my email 
promotions and such. I have my email, but if you want, you can. I wouldn't mind putting mine on there, but I have an email on there, right? Can I get the PowerPoint, please? Of course, I could, I could send this PowerPoint to you. Right, so perfect. So like I said, the Highlight Maker app, you can download that to make your highlights. And what you wanna do is highlights it as, as, as another way to, to have people engaged in your profile. You guys, all of this is happening even before they DM you. Even before they DM you, they're just on your page legit, like a, like a, at this point, this is not just a business card, this is a whole article, like a whole magazine that they're, they're just here like, oh, she's a, she's an educator, she's an investor, her goal is to help people win. What is she helping people win it? Oh, highlight on Forex trading, let's, let's, let's talk about it. Let's see what's going on, what is Forex, right? I'm explaining what Forex is, I'm not just explaining it, but then I, there, there's some, there's some videos on here, um to see a return you must invest some quotes then i'm talking to uh, alexa on my speaker i have some facts being posted on here then i have you know my my biggest profit my first biggest profit did you know you don't not supposed to put profits but we can get into that and then i have a video showing individuals how simple it is a copy and paste so they can come on my profile see what it is that i'm about and actually get into detail with what i'm about and i i i, I, I be attract to that see how simple it is like a legit like it's a whole presentation on my profile from my highlights alone my highlights is breaking on what for us is and i'm showing you how simple it is to trade for us with me now when you contact me you already know the, the foundation of what it is that i do no i'm just going to introduce you to the educational platform that you can join me through right so your highlights tell a story so i have forex highlight i have a lifestyle highlight so whenever i travel i post videos instead of there i have books right because i'm trying to be everything to everybody so if you uh, if you are the type of person that likes reading like i have a book a book highlight for you right team spirit for all of our events so whenever we're out uh, with, the, with celebrating or whatever the case may be if you are that type of individual that likes a, a positive environment i have that i have that over here hello right Daily deposits, I post posts every single day. So I have something there for that. YouTube, I do YouTube. So I have content on my highlight for my YouTube channel, right? Testimonies, I have to be, I have to post more instead of there. I have a couple, I actually only have one testimony there. So I gotta be intentional about posting it there. But yeah, so you can, you can decide what type of uh, highlights you want, create it and have it there. So when individuals come to your page, they can go through these highlights and get to know you a little more before they even start to connect with you, right? Promote your business, showcase what happens behind the scenes, spotlight like the products, spotlight like the products, right? You want to have, you want to have a highlight for the harmonic scanner. So whenever you're on a too easy training or whenever you're on there yourself, uh, using the scanner, that's a highlight. You can add all of those to that, right? Recap events and promotions. All of that is team spirit. All of that you can post into these highlights. People are attracted to that type of stuff. Categorize, lifestyle, mindset. Everything I have here, I told you guys that I have in my highlights. You can go to my profile. You can go to Danny's profile. You can go to the, uh, Gavin's profile. Any of the leaders, you can go on our profiles and see how we have our highlights set up. And you can do the exact same thing, right? No posting profits. No posting profits. You can't post empty for profits. Do not post Hugo's Way empty. You don't want to post Hugo's Way, IC Markets, Pepperstone, FX Choice, whatever broker you have. Don't want me posting that. No income clients. Refrain from using certain phrases and hashtags. Let's get into it right no mp4 profits so on the left you can see here you know a whole bunch of exposed profits from from your trade right this is not what you want to do over to the right you can you can you can and you guys it's about value it's about value we want to protect the house we want to protect i want you guys to take that in chat protect the house you don't want this company to go anywhere you guys see that we were featured on, on Forbes, Christopher Terry was featured on Forbes, and then today Bryce Thompson was featured on Forbes as well. Let me make it waste. This company is only seven years old, family, and we're, we're legit featured on Forbes. We are the top two MLM companies in the entire world. Only seven years old. The company is growing by leaps and bounds every single day. Every single day. So we want to protect the host. We don't want to make any income things. We don't want to attract people to us because of what the money that we're making. We want to attract them to us from the value, the value that we have offered. Because if you attract somebody to you with just the money, when they come and they don't make the money, guess what they're going to do? We're cutting ties. Bye. <laughs> right? You want to attract them with value. 
if you attract them with value, they're gonna stay because when they come here, they're gonna get a whole bunch of value when they're with us. A whole bunch of value they're gonna get when, 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 when they're with us. And so that, that's it's seven o'clock. them off of blue screens. You can tell them when you see blue face emojis, you can tell them this, this is when people are in profits. Whenever you see a blue screen, it means profits, right? Make sure you, you, you scroll out those numbers, those figures, explain to them that when you see a green line at the side, that means that you see a profit is, is hit. Educate them. Educate them. Educate individuals. They don't have to wait. You don't have to wait for them to sign up to show them how to copy and paste. You don't have to wait for them to sign up to show them, you know, uh, explain to them what the peers are. You don't have to wait for that. If you educate people, people are going to be enticed by, whoa, like, I learned so much from your story. I definitely want more. I definitely want to learn more. And that's what's going to attract them to you as well. Like, I made a whole post, a whole set of posts. Uh, how to copy and paste. I did it in detail. I had arrows and gifs and everything just showing how to copy and paste. You know how many individuals reached out to me because of that? Because I made it simple to understand because when people see these charts, they're intimidated. I remember being intimidated when I saw the charts. If you were intimidated when you first saw the charts, put a four in the chat, right? Put a four in the chat if you were intimidated when you saw the charts for the first time. Everybody is because you're thinking you have to be some mathematician. You have to be good at graphs and finding X and Y and Z. Listen, I still can't find X, Y, and Z, but I know how to calculate these pips. I still ain't know how to find X, Y, and Z in math, but I understand how to calculate pips. So we want to make sure that we educate people on how simple it is to trade, how simple it is to, co to, 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 to copy and paste. You see, that's what Ingrid said. That's what it took her so long to, to, to join because she was intimidated by the charts. You want to make it simple. Keep it simple, and people are gonna come to you. I promise you, you guys. This is this is exactly what I do with my own business. I just make it simple for people to understand, and they come, they reach out. So these are just some things that you can um, post, right? Make sure you scroll out the numbers. You can do little arrows, little just and show them. You know, this means X Y Z. That means X Y Z. Take a screenshot of the trade idea and show. Listen, I received this trade idea at this time. And at this time, the blue screen means that I made money, right? Whatever amount of money, that's not their business. You are just showing them that within this time and this time, I made money. This is how I did it. Simple copy and paste. And this text was sent to me. I, I copied and pasted the information in MT4. This is what it looked like. You scroll out those numbers. Yes, then to the site, the green line means TP was hit. Whatever the case may be, you can do a nice little screen recording of everybody dropping blue face emojis. That's what we tell you guys, put blue face emojis in the chat when we making money. When we making money, put some blue face emojis. So that we can use that as content. Screen record and say, look, everybody's making money. It's not just me. It's not just me. Like, I copied and pasted, but look at my team. A whole bunch of blue face emojis that they're going to see. Because you educated them that that's what we do. When you, when you see blue faces, that means money. Right, so so, so that, those are just other ways that you can can you know advertise forex and trading. Right, as you can see here on the side, you can explain even if you look at the chart. Look how look how this young lady she she showed you where her currency pair she's trading, where she entered the market. She has a little flower emoji by her lot size. Right, she says sell on USD, showing the screenshot of of of, of the trade that was set out for the harmonic scanner explaining what candles mean sell, pink candles mean but good get detailed, make get creative with your pores. Yes, those those charts don't look let me know in the chat. Looking at looking at this M four screenshot, would you focus on candlesticks and how complicated that is? Or actually reading the details that she has here and explaining how she's making money. If if this is less complicated to you, the details, no I, I'm not focused on the candlesticks and how intimidating this looks. I'm focused on, she's telling me this is a currency pair. She says sniper. I'm not too sure what sniper means, right? It means some type of shooting, like a clean shot. I don't know, right? But she's saying that the white candles mean to sell. The, so I learned that it's a candle and it means to sell, right? I had to tell the family, you know, I got the money to got to get, got to eat too. So she said the trade to her team. And she showed, you know, be on the lookout to sell odd USD. So she's showing that she's telling her team to sell odd USD from the harmonic scan. You guys, you guys, you guys picking up what you're putting off here? Is it details? I'm not focused on the candlesticks or, or the RSI or none of that. I'm focusing on her details. And it's cute. 
I like, it is cute. So this attracted me. It's nice and cute. The candlesticks are pink. She's using the pink flower emoji, all of this stuff. So that's going to attract somebody to, to hold on on your IG story and read these details and what it is that you are doing. You got you to gotta get creative. Get creative with your post and protect the house, right? You got to be able to tell a story. You got to be able to tell a story. You got to be able to entertain. Of course, we don't want you guys to just post for us, for us, for us, for us, for us. You have a life. You been had a life before you join this and you're going to have a life after actually uh, uh, this is supposed to create an even better life, right? But you have a life. And so you want to tell a story. You want to entertain. You want to be, you want to stay relevant. You want to be unique with your post. You want to be memorable. When somebody, when somebody sees something and, and they go on another profile or, or doesn't see your post to the another, another week or so, whenever they see Forex come back up from somebody else, they're going to remember, yo, I saw Daryl talk about this Forex thing a week ago, but I didn't see she post recently. But you, because you were so memorable, you were so unique, where right? you were entertaining with these posts, they're going to remember you when it pops up again. So they're, gonna, they're not going to go and contact that person. They're going to come back to you because you were memorable. You were very creative with your posts. You took the time to be detailed. If you look here, you see a whole bunch of details. Screenshot of, right now we have in the marketing training. You should be, you should be uh, screenshotting anything that we have here. You know, you can scratch it out. You, be, you could be, you'll be like, yo, we, we do that marketing training on how we can grow my business and make money online. And you scratch it out because if somebody's interested, they can be like, you mean, how you, how you mean make more money online? Mm, interest peak. Oh, because you're just sitting and learning yourself. No, you attracted somebody because somebody's saying, what, social media training, how to make money online. And you have it scratched out so they can't really see what's happening. Interest peak. Anybody that's interested in making money online, boom. You're not even picking them off of Forex. You're picking them up, making money. So you already got somebody that ready to build their business, come and attract it to your business. This is the type of stuff you got to be posting. Whenever you're on, you know, early on the morning, it's on, oh gosh, call, screenshot and be like, oh, I'm up with the team making money, right? Show them what it is that you do with this business and then show them if you're already there that you have a life. Going to work, playing with your kids. If, you, if, if it's an off day, you go to the beach, whatever kids, maybe you want to snap that as well. It's not just words that you're going to be posting. You have a life. Right, I always tell people you want to entertain, you want to motivate, you want to educate. When with your post, those are the three things that you want to do: motivate, educate, entertain. Motivate, educate, entertain. My posts are my my motivation are my daily deposits. Any quotes that I see from another page, anybody that says something that is very motivational, I repost it. Right, I could I entertain whether it's me playing a song and make it uh, my entertaining to into my forest. Because on the morning when I'm trading with Kim I like, no, I got this song. Let me play it for you guys. Like, I'm very entertaining. People always message me like, that. where you get this song from? Listen. Money, money, money. Money, money, money. Money, money, money. Money, money, money. So on the morning, I went to Kim and like, no, catching these pips. And I, and I got this song playing in the background. And I just hype. I hype. And I'm like, oh, my God. Man, oh my. I hype. So I entertaining. I show you that I at home making money live with educators. Boom. Pitch. Peaked in somebody's interest, like this song. How you doing this? How you making money? Like, what 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 is he really doing? Right? So you want to entertain, you want to educate and motivate every single day with your posts, at least at minimum 10 posts a day. Minimum. And I don't want you guys to say, all right, this is my fifth post, or yeah, my seventh post. No, make it a habit. Make it a habit to just post. We have these trainings every single day. You you should be on if you're a brand new, you should be in the academy, you should be on go live. You should be doing whatever. You have something to post. You have going about your day. You have something to post. Don't think you don't have anything to post. You do. You just have to just take a picture, make a boomerang, make a smart, a short video. If you're not comfortable with videos, get comfortable, All right? If you, listen, your comfort zone is your board. Like if you're serious about going to your man, chairman, put their faces in the cameras, All right? So just some other examples here. Um, she was on a on a training, right? So, ooh, Forex Money, Lena Peel. We already know Lena Peel is a product. Look at, look at this. Lena Peel is a product. So she made money from Lena Peel, right? And then look, Friday equals residual day. Everybody, we already know we just got cash out Fridays. We can snap that as well. We can snap that as well, right? No, like mood every day. If you're, if you're posting your withdrawal screenshots, put a, a, an emoji over it. Don't show the amount. Put an emoji over it right don't put a dollar more don't add a dollar more but add value 
don't add a dollar amount add value all right family right so you want to you want to be intentional about your post every single day but brainstorm how am i going to be creative how how am i going to get creative you can go on pinterest and get nice cute backgrounds and, and, and don't just have a plain white background or a plain black background but make it creative make it attractive get nice uh cute wallpapers on pinterest or google some and put it there instagram allows you to be to layer posts instagram legit helps individuals marketers whoever to be very creative with this, their posts you don't have to be a, a graphic artist or anything instagram is helping us with that a lot giving us different fonts and everything get creative there are a whole bunch of apps that you can look at as well but get creative think about what you're gonna post today right you see here look health health as well take care of yourself this is not nothing to do with forex nothing to do with forex but you want to still show people that you have a life right you have a life again no posting of broker um withdrawals so right here of this no 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 you want us you want to scroll it out scroll it out look withdraw withdraw whatever do you have access to a trade on the market you can show it's a withdrawal it's a legitimate broker somebody sees this and they tell themselves like kot fx pepperstone fx choice who goes being they could go and google that and see what that broker is and they're seeing that it's a legitimate email that they sent you for your withdrawal request this all of this stuff you are not showing any dollar more but you're showing individuals that you are you are getting success from this forex thing right because that's what they call it the forex thing you're get you're seeing success and so when you show this type of stuff but you make sure you are protecting the host it still has value it's still gonna it's still gonna get the message across when you do this stuff all right no income claims no income claims so whenever you're posting a a a a a flyer for a rank a, a, a rank achievement whether it's p150 or chairman 750 you don't do this 10k a month that's an income claim because somebody's gonna see this and be like well she make it ten thousand dollars a month how can they make ten thousand dollars a month they sign up they don't even go a platinum 150 the company is a scam because we enticed them the wrong way from the beginning you want to be intentional about what you're posting and how you're seeing it right don't don't do the whole ten thousand dollars a month just if this person is impacting 500 people because of this skill of forex so it's a lot better a lot more value being added there like well this person shared it with 500 people and they're being recognized for it they don't even have to know that the body is being paid it's a recognition and people love to be recognized you guys that's why we that's why we have uh that's why in sports you have home court advantage even if the home team is doing crap they're not scoring their home team is they're still cheering they're still cheering because that's their home team they're still being celebrated and so when we celebrate we show up, um people achieving rights are being celebrated people are attracted to that as well well 500 people that's crazy that's huge people love to be celebrated and so you want to add value that way don't show any money don't show we don't be showing the money please for your safety especially don't be showing any money right perfect cannot use these hashtags or cannot use these these hashtags or our phrases i know you know we got seven figure mentors and this next type of mentor and this and all the money don't use these seven or eight figure earner millionaires or billionaires i remember the companies uh sunday call it is no chairman mentorship it used to be called seven figure mentorship call I think a year and a half ago, that's what it was called. Seven figure mentorship call. No, it's chairman mentorship because we don't want to make any income claims at all. At all, at all, at all. We are protecting the host. So a millionaire, billionaire, you know, don't use any of these 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 dollar amounts that would attract somebody to, to you, to your post, to this business. We again we want to add value. So just take notes of what not to use when it when it comes to hashtags, right? i am is a home a, a home business i am gives you a, a work from a home don't 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 say that 235 don't no dollar figure no dollar figure we want to add value in more ways than that all right family right attract your audience so this is an educational platform again these are these are things that you can use instead of using dollar amount educational platform value from for the product and for the skill set real results this comes from showing the chat being on these calls 
you know, when, when, when somebody's on the call, like give it their testimony, you can record that, show that people, they're real people with real results uh, in this platform that you're attached to that winning. You have real results. Because remember the beginning, they said they want you to have profits. So you have real results, right? And if the skills, and if the leader slash the mentorship for ethic and passion instead of their monthly income, you guys, we can see Akeem and Clay make it $10,000 a month. Da, 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 uh, uh. No, but Akeem, he does a, 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 a leadership call uh, every Thursday for, for a book called uh, 21 and Refutable Laws. We're learning how to, how, to, how to develop the leader, not just in us, but around us, right? That is value, right? Clay does an amazing job in helping the team make money every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, right? We're working together as a team on the old gosh call. We should get everybody acquainted with the old gosh, like whatever the case may be. This, this is adding value, no dollar amount, right? Keep posting it, be scheduled. So right now we know that we had a marketing call at 6 p.m. today. You could have posted a screenshot of that of that um, detailed call and then put that on top of this, this training right now, right? So you would upload the video, uh, do a screen recording of this training, uh, then take a screenshot of the time that, it, that this, the training was happening and put that on top of the video and show them, well, look, this is what my schedule is like today and this is what's happening right now, right? There's, there's no real optimal time to pause. I just pause, really and truly. I just pause. I don't have a, I don't have a, a time to pause because I don't, I don't only uh, want to attract people that are in my time. So I'm only trying to attract people that are in all other time. So, so I just pause. Once you switch to a business profile, it will tell you. Okay, good. But I, just, I don't study time to pause. I just pause. When people see it, they see it. So I'm going to pause as much as possible so that I can be at the top of your highlights anyway for you to see me, right? So keep post, post your schedule, um, optimal time for, for the audience. Like I said, I don't focus on that, but if, 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 if there's insight telling you that information, definitely take advantage of it. Make your content pleasing and shareable. That goes back into how you post on your profile. People, when you check your insights, you're going to be able to see how many people share it. If, it. if it's full of value, people are going to share it to your story. So you want to make sure that it's shareable. Build something people need. People need to make more money and not have to work it at your job. And we have just that, right? Share your testimony and others, right? This builds trust. This builds trust. When you are sharing people's testimonies, sharing your testimony, people, people are attracted to that because believe it or not, there are people that out there just like you are in a worse position, right? So when you, when you share that and they see, well, yo, I'm going through that right now, right? They're, they're going to come to you like, listen, like, I'm interested. This is exactly what it is that I'm going to. Can you help me? Can you share this information with me? Whatever the case may be. So that builds trust. High engagement with your, with your audience. You can do like uh, story polls, uh, have people ask you questions, whatever the case may be. Like I said, Instagram makes it very, very, very simple for content creators and marketers to attract their audience and keep their audience and give. Utilize these tools that Instagram story gives you, right? Use all the visual marketing features you just, I love the gift. I love, I don't know if it's gift or gist, but I love them, right? It's entertaining, it makes people laugh. I just, I look for the most hilarious one. Just all of this ties into attracting your audience, all right? We almost finished, you guys, right? There's Paul in the DMs. Power in the DM. Hey, I've been watching you post and I'm very interested in what you do. I'm eager to learn more. This is somebody that, that they're probably not going to say in these exact same words, right? They're probably not going to say in these exact same words, but this is just an example. Your response does not have to be this exact, this exact same thing, but you can use this, this outline and switch it up to some more like you. Hey, how are you? Of course, you want to start with, hey, how are you? You know, you're, you're polite, right? We are polite individuals. So, hey, how are you? Thank you for reaching out. I'm a part of this says trade house, but you guys, of course, know that we are in the takeover. So I'm going to edit that really quickly and put the takeover there. But you're going to put, I'm a part of the takeover investment group. And we are able to make two streams of income directly from our phone. Tonight, we will, we will um, have a free informational explaining what we do and how you get started. However, I only have two, st two spots. You guys, this creates urgency. This creates urgency. If I tell you I only got two spots, you tell me you're interested in this business, I only have two spots. Are you available at 7.30? Are you available at 8 o'clock? Are you available at 6 o'clock? You want to know what times it is we're having um, informational calls. And so you, you want to make sure you know the time that the informational call is happening so that when you are talking to your prospect, you can give them that information here and there. 
All right, so know what times we're having training, know what times we're having calls so that you can give this information to your, to your prospect. If so, it will guarantee I can secure your spot. Boom. So now you greet them, you tell them what it is that you do. You're, you're a part of this takeover investment group. We have an info call at 8 o'clock, at 7.30, at 6 o'clock, whatever the time. Are you available? I only have two spots. They're going to say yes or no. If, if they say no, then you let them know tomorrow it's going to be at the exact same time. I can, I can hold your spot there, right? We have a little more spots tomorrow. Let me know, right? But you want to create a sense of urgency. It's exclusive, all right? So you want to promote, you want to present prospect, and you want to present. If you guys are not presenting yet, Definitely get in the habit of being on the calls and hearing the information so that you can get used to, even if you decide, okay, I'm going I'm to practice doing the, um, the cash flow quadrant. Then I'm going to practice doing, uh, presenting the tools. Then I'm going to practice presenting the, the, um, the compensation plan. You can do it in stages. That's exactly what I did. I was a boss at the, at the compensation plan first, and then I went to the products. Then I went to the, the, um, the cash flow quadrant. I did it in stages. And you want to just practice, be on the calls, hear the information, and then practice. Practice, practice, practice means permanent. Not just perfect, but permanent. So get on the calls, reach out to your outline. The person that brought you to the business, tell them, well, I want to practice with the, the, um, the presentation. Can you send me it? Whatever the case may be. If, this, if you are serious about going to your mind, these are the activities that you're going to need to do. All right? Good. So marketing your page. You want to, again, be creative. Color schemes, informative, show appreciation, all that ties into even something like this call, right? We're about to we're about to wrap up uh, an amazing marketing call. You know, you can screen record this. If you haven't posted yet, post this uh, and just show what it is that we're doing. You're excited to be able to market your business online. Boom! Thank you, Tammy. At Tammy. Boom! At Tammy Times with four Z's. Show appreciation, right? You're here learning, you're growing every single day. You're not just here to make money. I mean, that's the reason why all of us got started. But now we're learning how to market our business. That this could be extended from doing this for this business to whatever business that you have already or whatever business you're looking to start. You know how many individuals use the information that we give them and apply it to their own business that they already have running? Right? You got to show appreciation for that because we got started to learn to trade. All of a sudden, we learning about growing. We learning about marketing. We learning about a whole bunch of other stuff, right? That's all that we get with this business. So show appreciation. Be informative with your post. Get get creative. Have a nice color scheme. All of that attracts people to stay on your post. If I'm if I'm going to Instagram and all they say is, is a black page, this is me. Tap 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 tap. But all of a sudden, I see things moving, just going all over the place. It's colorful. It's this. It's that. You talking? No, I'm gonna watch. I'm not going to just tap past it. I'm going to watch because now it's more attracted to the eye. I don't know what it is you're saying, but before the, the blackness, it wasn't attracting me. It wasn't, I wasn't attracted with that black screen. But now I'm seeing colors. I'm seeing gifs. I'm seeing you talking. No, I'm just going to watch. I'm not going to skip it past. I'm going to watch and I'm going to listen to what you have to see. So you want to get creative, use colors. Like I said, go on Pinterest or just Google some um, nice backgrounds or whatever the case may be and get creative with your post. All right, you guys? So good. Of course, you want to, this is you marketing yourself 100%. Everything that I just shared with you guys is free. The only thing that I'm, I shared with you guys that you got to spend money on is that photo shoot, $65. And that's nothing compared to, to the money that I spent on having these physical cars. Nothing compared to the money that I spent having these physical cars. Everything that I just showed you guys is free. If you, there are so many apps. I told, I told you about the Highlight Creator app. That is free. There's an app called Over Mojo. There, there's an app called Spark Post, Fonto. There's so many apps that, that are free that can help you get creative with your post every single day to attract who you want to your business. Right, you guys? So let me know if you guys found value. Give me a second. Let me, let me make a snap here. So we just wrapped up our marketing training. If you guys found value, I want you to type value in the chat. Uh, let me know if you guys are going to be utilizing these, these tactics, these uh, creative ways I just shared with you to market your business online and attract who you need to you and your business and help everybody win. Let me see in the chat. Let's go and see all the values. Let's go. We got 77 people on the line, 76. 
We're going to market our business. We're going to attract who we want to us. And we're all going to your money. Let's, Let's go. Let's wrap our marketing trick. But See that, you guys? Easy peasy. Beautiful forex girl. <laughs> right? So, you guys, I see all the values in the chats. I, I really hope that you guys took a whole bunch of notes. Let me, I, I'm looking. I'm looking to see who are going to be changing up there. But yours, Danise, and all the other leaders, we took note of who said they want to go chairman and who's going for those photo shoots. So I expect to see nice, clean posts. I expect to see nice IG stories, creative IG stories, no posting of profits, being intentional of how we market. You guys, you know, get intentional about putting your face in the camera, making videos, uh, going live on IG, all of this stuff attracts. People to you, especially if you don't do it right now, and people see you go live all of a sudden, they're going to come and watch because they never see your name popped up about going live. So all of these little things that you need to do to get to the next level, to attract who you want to you and to your business. And that is how, my friends, we are going to go chairman for December 31st, 2020. There's a lot of room. We only have, I think the company has about 400 chairman right now, just over 400. There's a lot of room to go chairman. And Barbados, wherever you're from, Grenada, St. Martin, Jamaica, wherever you're from, need more chairman. There is no shortage of the money going around in this company, and there's definitely not a shortage of money in the foreign exchange market. And so let's tell the world about this. Let's all go chairman so we can collect two bags from this business because we deserve it. All right, you guys? So let's get it. Let's go. Let's continue to grow. Remember, you guys, believing that you can is way more profitable than believing that you can't. Bye.